Hi, I'm Johanna Nelson. And I'm Trey Ellis from the University of Missouri. This is the second of our four-part video series on using gypsum resistant blocks to manage irrigation. In this segment, we will illustrate installing sensors in the field. Start by soaking the sensors overnight. Always install gypsum blocks wet. Most farmers install soil moisture sensors at two or three depths to obtain representative moisture readings from the effective crop rooting zone. For most row crops, we install the shallow sensor at eight to 12 inches from the surface. The deepest sensor is usually placed 18 to 24 inches. For watermark sensors, make a seven eighth inch hole with an auger probe or pipe. Angle the hole to prevent rain or irrigation water from flowing down the holes. Now we will fill the bottom of the hole with a thick slurry made of soil removed from the water in the hole. Then firmly push the sensor down into the mud in the bottom of the hole. We'll cover it up and to secure the pipe in the ground. Next, we'll use the Del Horse sensors by making the hole one and a half inches to accumulate the larger pipe size. Be careful not to put too much force on the gypsum block to avoid splitting or crushing the tip. Next, we will backfill the hole so the sensors are buried. Next, he will write on the above ground PVC pipes using a permanent marker to identify the location and depth of each sensors. These will be placed about eight inches into the ground. Next, we will tape the top of each PVC to prevent water from going down the pipe. Be sure wires are easy to access, but not in the way of farm equipment. In our next video, we will show you how to read and interpret gypsum block sensors. 